Hey everybody, welcome back to another voiceover. Um, here we have a video of my MMA fight over the weekend. Um, what happened was a couple of my opponents had pulled out. One got stuck in Oregon with this, uh, the storm. Another one just didn't show up to weigh-ins. And this kid showed up, weighed in at like 11 o'clock at night, stepped up to fight me so we can keep a fight going, keep the show going. So I'm super grateful to him. Um, his name's Ben, and I'm just really grateful that uh, he stepped up for the fight. Um, as we get started here, my goal was to strike. So I come out, go southpaw, and my goal is to strike. And right here, he lands a leg kick, and I kind of come into it and buckle my knee a little bit. And so right away, I was like, okay, I have to grapple. So the inside of my knee, like my MCL area, my right knee popped there. And so I was like, okay, I have to grapple this kid. He starts going for a guillotine and I put pressure on him there and kind of lifted his hips and feet off the mat. And I can't be guillotined, period. Like that's one of my special things. And so um, I use it as a takedown and connection to him. Now I want to beat his left knee here. He has my left arm over wrapped with an, or overhooked. So it's hard for me to use my elbow to beat that knee. So I'm just taking my time, weighing on him, keeping good head pressure, keeping him flat. And uh, slowly but surely, I work my way over his knee right here. And now I know I have really good control. I just have to free my right arm. And so what he ends up trying to do, see, I turk his leg there because I want to keep him flat, is he tries to go turtle so he can work himself to the cage. And I slow this down here in a second so you can really see what I'm doing. But I know that my right knee is compromised, so I can't take a scramble. I can't take the chance of having to wrestle. So I use my left leg here and hook his bottom leg right there. And watch, he tries to go turtle here, and I extend my left leg and keep his hips flat. So now his only option is to turn into me. So now I can get a gift wrap with my right hand. I can wrap his arm around his neck, and I throw this elbow here. Boom. That elbow rocked him, and right away, kind of pretty much the fight was over. So I'm taking really a lot of time with these shots. Like, I'm giving the ref time between each of these shots because I want him to stop the fight. But, you know, they were they were pretty hard shots, but they were mostly hitting his armpit and his shoulder and the top of his head. But I was taking my time with those punches because I just didn't... I didn't want to really hurt this guy. I was just stoked that he came in for the fight and, and, and helped me put on a show. Um, here they're raising my hand. And I was just really grateful to the kid for stepping up. Um... And now I'm going to show the whole thing um, live here. It was a little less than a, a minute, I think. But right here, my knee goes out. So I changed the, the concept to wrestling. And uh, again, once I make my connection and make my choice to wrestle and grapple, you know, I've been doing this so long that you have to be pretty good to withstand my ground, my ground game. And so again, after I land that elbow, it kind of melts them a little bit. And I'm able to throw some ground and pound on him and get the win. Um, I really didn't want the fight to go that way. I wanted to play striking and draw the fight out a little longer and have a good time and put on a show. But once once I was compromised with my knee, I just had to find the win. Um, so this is what I put all that time and work into. You know, got that weight down. I ate 1,100 calories a day for three weeks. Trained on the damn elliptical all day. Um, I made it through a bunch of injuries. I, you know, the last two weeks of my camp, I didn't do any striking or grappling or anything because my back um, kind of got tweaked. So this is my first time in any live exchange in two weeks. And of course, my knee gets compromised. But uh, either way, I'm just grateful that all my students came out and got to see the show. All my friends were there. My thank you to Aggie, my girlfriend, my lady, for recording this. And, uh, you know, we got a dub, and now it's on to the next. I'm going to heal up a little bit um, and fight at 155 for the next one and put on a show and maybe work my way towards <clears throat> a title shot at some point and just heal up. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, this is what everything came down to for why I wasn't putting on uh, videos for you guys. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.